everyone, my name is Filipe Borba and I'm here to present Building Footprints Extraction in Vexor Format using PyTorch Segmentation Model Trainer, QGIS Plugin Deep Learning Tools and the Brazilian Army Geographic Service Building Dataset. I'm an officer from the Brazilian Army Geographic Service which is one of the government institutions responsible for mapping the Brazilian territory. There are five sub subordinate units, the Geoinformation Centers, each in charge of mapping one region of Brazil. And annually, several officers are assigned to carry out postgraduate research in universities to try to solve production problems. I have carried out my master's research on automatic building footprint extraction from remote sensing imagery. My research goals were to verify whether it is possible to train deep convolutional neural network capable of extracting building footprint vector polygons from very high resolution imagery compatible with 1 to 25,000 scale. And also in this research, I tried to develop as much as I can, could uh, open source solutions to solve the research problem. So I've used the dataset AI Crowd which is composed mainly of urban areas. It was used by Gerard et al. and Zhao et al., both which were my base uh, articles for my research. In this research, we've also built the Brazilian Army Geographic Service Building Dataset, which is composed by airborne photogrammetric imagery with spatial resolution of 35 centimeters and 39 centimeters. The images are from the states of Rio Grande do Sul and Santa Catarina. Uh, all images have radiometric resolution of 8 bits and spectral resolution RGB. Um, we've extracted manually more than 1.5 million building footprints from either urban or and rural scenes. The dataset has more than 247,000 images each with 512 pixels by 512 pixels and there is no overlap between the, the train and test splits and the data set is available online here are some examples of the the data set um, this data set has lots of rural scenes and some urban scenes that as can be seen in the the top right corner and here is some example of the vectors in QGIS and um, as well as the images already split and um, the, the masks built so some examples And uh, in this research, we've used the uh, machine learning uh, server with three NVIDIA Tesla V100, each with 32 gigs of video memory. Um, the, the polygons were extracted using QJS and stored in PostJS in Postgres. And um, we've developed a, a Python package called PyTorch Segmentation Models Trainer, which was used to build the masks and also to train the, the models. We've also developed a plugin called Deep Learning Tools to handle the build masks, and uh, this plugin also can consume some API services that uh, receive images and uh, outputs geo the GeoJSON polygons. Inferred. So PyTorch Segmentation Models Trainer was, is a framework that uh, was built on top of PyTorch and PyTorch Lightning. It serves models using FAST API. The models can be implemented using the PyTorch, the Segmentation Models PyTorch, which is a, a an open source library that uh, has several pre-trained um, weights and uh, pre-implemented uh, pre models and ar architectures. And this framework, the PyTorch Segmentation Models Trainer, 
uses Hydra configuration files. These configuration files, they are in YAML format. They, it uses OmegaConf to, to perform object instanti instantiation, and for instance, and there is a, this model tag which has the target value, which is the, the, PyTor the segmentation model's PyTorch unit object with all the, the parameters. So PyTorch segmentation models trainer uh, auto instantiates this model and uses it to train the, the, the models that are already implemented in the, in the framework. This makes, by using this, we can have some flexible code. You can use it to train your other models. You can uh, even implement your own models and it, it will not be a dependency of PyTorch segmentation models trainer. We use the base frameworks of PyTorch and PyTorch Lightning. PyTorch Lightning is a very flexible and high-level API built on top of PyTorch. And it enables us easy implementation of training loops. And it has out-of-the-box multi-GPU implementation. Um, segmentation models PyTorch has nine model ar architectures such as UNet, UNet++, FPN, PSPNet, DeepLab 3 Plus and so on, and it has 119 backbones, such as those from ResNet family, the EfficientNet family, and MobileNet. And we also implemented some custom models um, that can be combined with backbones from PyTorch segmentation models. Segmentation models PyTorch, sorry. And uh, these models were the frame field model, the mod polymapper, polygon RNN, and the HRNet OCR. Um, particularly, uh, the frame field learning was one of the the used um, models in this research. It is composed by a new net with a ResNet 101 backbone, and it is coupled with a frame field model which learns a complex vector field and uh, it, it has nine losses that are that each looks at a particular uh, aspect of the building and this frame field object is used in the post-processing method this is better building edges we also implemented the mod polymapper which is a combination of an RNN that, uh, that infers the polygons uh, vertexes. It is combined with a object detection network. We serve our models using fast API, so the service receives an image and it outputs to the client the GeoJSON of each extracted polygon in the image. And deep Learning Tools um, has a, a model that uh, uh, posts an image to the service, receives the GeoJSON response, and outputs it as a temporary memory layer in QGIS. We carried out eight experiments using both AI Crowd and Brazilian Army Geographic Service building the data sets. In our experiments, we use the following hyperparameters and evaluation metrics. As our optimizer, we use a weighted atom with a weight decay of 0 0.001, which is called auto regularization. We also use data augmentations to avoid overfeeding, um, such as we use augmentations such as random crop, random flips, and histogram data. We also use one cycle learning rate scheduler and gradient clipping to avoid vanishing and exploding gradients, especially in the RNN based methods. 
we also use stochastic query averaging in the last 80 percent epochs to have better conversions we also employed mixed precision training which enables us enabled us to have larger batches in our gpus we use ha he initialization in convolutional based branches and came in initialization in linear operation based branches. As the evaluation matrix, we chose the polygons and line segments, polys, which is a polygon similarity metric that uh, two when two objects have polys zero, it means that they are the same object and the further these objects are from each other, for instance, the very different objects has a very large polys. We also use the mean max tangent error angle hours, MMTAE, and the intersection over union and omission excesses. Here are some results of the in the AI crowd data set. We can see that particularly and the proposed method by of this research, which was the HINET OCR W48 frame field, has better visual um, results than the polymapper in this this data set. Some other visual results, and we can see that the polymapper did not handle well large objects. And in the Brazilian Army Geographic Service Building dataset, uh, we had a different result. Our proposed technique was outperformed by the mod polymapper, which produced sharper and um, better building edges. And that can be seen in this this image. So, but um, the the mod polymapper. Uh, had lots of omissions. It did not capture, not detect several adjoining buildings, as you can see in the in the bottom right image. And the conclusion: we, the the Brazilian in the Brazilian Army Geographics Service Building dataset, the Montpellier map was the best method, and uh, and in the AI Crowd dataset, the HR. Net OCR W48 frame field was the best method, and which um, made us, after some inquiry in the in dissertation, we found out that this HR based method worked better in densely built up areas, while, while the mod polymapper worked better in sparse areas. The open source implementation of this research is available in the PyTorch segmentation models trainer and the data set is also available online and this research is available in at the, that link um, all codes are based on free and open source technologies um, as future work we'll test the chosen methods on different areas from brazil and conduct a pilot project using the results of this research in a production environment to assess whether it can be used in real-world cartographic production. We also want to research mixing different data sets on training steps and try some domain shift techniques. We also want to test variation of the frame field in the model polymapper. In particular, we want to replace the backbones with vision transformers and check whether it will produce better results. We also want to test a new technique called deep snakes and um, all these tests will hopefully integrate it in PyTAR segmentation models training. Thank you for your time. Are there any questions?